Hi, this is Mahmoud Ahmad and in this lecture we will add icons to our download manager. In the last lecture we've designed our app UI using the Qt Designer. We have one tab for downloading files, another tab for downloading from YouTube, one video or a whole playlist. But now we need to add an icons to this uh, design. So first of all, I'll open this uh, app location this app folder location it is yeah download udemy and then i'll create another folder called the icons then i'll live in google for downloading some icons we need an icon for browse or we need another icon for getting data from youtube uh, i think we need those two icons only okay first of all we will search for uh, browse icon I type it yeah, in a wrong way and let's see it this maybe this one okay let's type it right browse yeah move down we have Okay, let's get this one. Let's see this was the icons. Yeah, I think this got let's save it to the loads. This icon, I'll call it browse. BNG and we need another one for saving or for getting okay let's call it saving for getting information from YouTube save icon Let's get this icon right here. Save it also to the downloads. Open it in here and call it. Let's check. Okay, it's good. Now we need to create a key resource file. Let's open a new tab. And let's save it in the same location of our app UI in the download Udemy. And I'll call it photo.qrc this file we need to add the basic or the code for importing this images into our bycuity we will use qrc or qrsource file okay first of all we will create a doc type doc type equal to r cc just like this and we will open a tag for our CC version equal to 1.0. Then we'll add another tag for Q resource. This tag have this tag has a closing tag just like this, yeah, and uh, also the rcc which has rcc yeah this key resource we need to add our photos like just like this file then we will add the name of our folders folder icons it will be icons slash uh, Icons less browse with BNG. Let's take this name copy. Yeah. 
and let's close this file. Let's duplicate it using Control Shift D or Command Shift D if you are using Mac. And let's get this icon name also and the word just like here. Save it. Now we have our QT research file. Now we have the, the icons that we need. If you need to add another icons in, in your app, you need to add it using a file tag, just like this. Okay. And then we will add another icons in the uh, coming section of the course, so don't worry. Let's open the design, the designer here, and uh, let's add an icon for this browse button. Move this text. And here, move down to the icon tab, like here. And using this arrow, we will choose resource. There is no resource here, so we'll check to add a resource file. There is this will open a resource file. Okay, press this, and we will choose photos.qrc. If we open this, we will see that we have an icon, browse file, and check. So we will choose this browser BNG, save, and then OK. And now we have this search icon, just like this. This is awesome. Now we need to add this browse here and this check here. Okay, remove this B and remove this G. Here we need to add the B using icons. And from here we will check, choose icon from theme, no. Icon from resource file, make this icons, and we will see that we have this icon that we've imported before. Let browse, okay, and we need to import the check icon here, just like this. Okay. Remember that we can control this icon with some height, just like this. like this icon just let's this make this what's kind of small like 33 yeah, just like this this is also 33 just like this yeah save this and let's change it also on this tab just like this okay let's move to the download playlist and we need to change this icon also from here choose research file icons search and change this icon width to 33 just like this yeah Let's run our app UI. Now we have one tab for downloading and using this icon to browse. Another tab for downloading from YouTube. Downloading one video. This button will check the video quality and we'll drag it in this combo box so that we can pick the quality we need. And this button for browsing. And in the playlist tab, we have this button for browsing also. Now everything is awesome. Now we need to connect this UI to our BikeKT5 code and we start coding the basic features of our app like downloading sample files from this tab. Then we will move to the next section. We will start downloading from YouTube. We will learn how can we download one video from YouTube and how can we get information about this video like the video uh, uh, thumbnail or the video likes, just like the author, the description and so on. And how can we download a playlist? How can we know the current video we download or the whole video, whole playlist, video's number, and we can, how can we get the quality we need? Then we will move to next section and we will add some advanced features like animation on our app and we will add the settings tab for our app to be able to change our app theme, uh, notify me when the modeling is finished, or uh, shut down the DC after download and so on. Okay, the next lecture, as I said, we will learn how can we connect this UI to our app uh, or our bike 5 code. Uh, see you in the next session.
Uh, remember, if you have any questions, leave it in the discussion forum. I'll help you solve it. And do not forget to share your feedback and rating with me. This actually helps me a lot. And if you have any uh, comments or, or suggestions about this course, uh, I'm waiting for you. See you next session.